Why should Marvel fans and strategy game lovers be excited about Marvel Mystic Mayhem? Well, if you were one of the people who enjoyed Midnight Suns, this new game might be exactly what you've been waiting for. Midnight Suns didn't get the attention it truly deserved, but those who played it know it brought something fresh to the table. A mix of deep character development, tactical gameplay, and the use of Marvel's darker, supernatural characters. It was the perfect blend of strategic turn-based combat and card mechanics, with each mission feeling like a chance to explore your favorite Marvel heroes in a whole new way. But despite all this, Midnight Suns never fully broke through to mainstream success. Now, Marvel Mystic Mayhem looks ready to pick up that mantle. But what makes it the spiritual successor to Midnight Suns? Let's break it down. First off, Marvel Mystic Mayhem focuses on Marvel's magic users. You've got characters like Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, and some lesser known but powerful figures like Sleepwalker. This alone sets it apart from the usual Marvel games lineup. Instead of focusing on big name Avengers or X-Men, Mystic Mayhem zooms in on the mystical side of the Marvel Universe, something Midnight Suns did brilliantly. And just like Midnight Suns, Mystic Mayhem looks to balance between character-driven storytelling and tactical gameplay. Players will have to think strategically to take down Nightmare, the game's main antagonist who rules the dream dimension. This supernatural element is what really ties the two games together. It's not just about defeating enemies, it's about overcoming psychological and magical challenges, just like the dark battles of Midnight Suns. Now, the game does have a few key differences. It's expected to lean more into mobile-friendly, free-to-play mechanics, with gacha elements being a possibility. This is a shift from Midnight Suns' more traditional console experience. However, the core of the gameplay's strategic, turn-based combat with Marvel's magic users remains, and that's what's going to attract fans of tactical RPGs. What's interesting is how Marvel Mystic Mayhem expands the supernatural lore. In Midnight Suns, we saw the return of Lilith, Mother of Demons. In Mystic Mayhem, the antagonist is Nightmare, and the story centers around him trying to invade Earth by manipulating dreams and fears. It's another step into the darker, mystical side of the Marvel Universe that we don't often see in mainstream media. But here's the real reason why Mystic Mayhem could be the next big hit. It's taking what Midnight Suns started and refining it. While Midnight Suns introduced the idea of a deep, tactical RPG with Marvel characters, Mystic Mayhem is poised to take that formula and streamline it for a wider audience. By making it more accessible as a free-to-play mobile game, it could attract both hardcore RPG fans and casual Marvel lovers. So, is Marvel Mystic Mayhem just another superhero game, or is it the spiritual successor to Midnight Suns that we've been waiting for? From the looks of it, it's definitely following in those footsteps, but with its own twist. If you're a fan of deep strategy, magic, and the Marvel Universe's darker corners, this is a game you'll want to keep an eye on. What do you think? Will Marvel Mystic Mayhem live up to the hype or will it be another overlooked gem like Midnight Suns? Let me know in the comments below.